Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library series. This video will focus on linking contact records in Act to customer records in QuickBooks when you're selling to companies, meaning that most of your Act contacts have company names in Act, just like ABC Electric like we have here. The key to using the customer link wizard is having data to match between QuickBooks and ACT. If we take a quick look at QuickBooks, I can see ABC Electric. If I look at that record, you'll see that we have a company name filled out, right? We also have a customer name that we can use to match on as well. Because I have extra data in QuickBooks, that gives me the flexibility of matching on multiple criteria. In our case, we're going to match on the we're going to use the company name in Act to match to the customer name in QuickBooks. To do that, we go to Tools, QB Customer Link Wizard, and that'll pull up the following window. And we want to go to the Contact Linking tab. Now, if we have large Act databases, say 20,000 contact records, but maybe only 3,000 of those are actual customers that need to be linked to QuickBooks we can use this current lookup option right here. We would look up those 3,000 customers and then perform the linking. Note that you really don't want to do more than 5,000 at a time in a batch within this linking wizard. In my case, I have a smaller database, so I'm going to run this on all contacts, and I'm going to match the QuickBooks customer name to the company name in ACT. And notice it will give you a list of all the fields in ACT to match on. So you're going to want to analyze your data in ACT and QuickBooks to figure out what the best information is to match on. Once you have that set, we can simply click on the Load Data button, and it will read the QuickBooks database and the ACT database and attempt to match on that criteria. Notice I've got lots of individual contacts here with no company name, so it didn't find a match. But if I scroll down in the list, you'll see I've got lots of companies here that are set to link. That means it found a match and we can go ahead and click on the process button in the lower right to process those links. I'll go ahead and do so. Once it's done it will tell us processing complete. I can close out of this window and when I come back to ACT the key piece I'm looking for is the QBID field. And notice here this QBID field actually has the QuickBooks ID number stored and that tells me that that record is linked. So if you're lucky enough to have a matching set of company name to QuickBooks customer name, that'll work out great. But in some cases you may not have data in the company field in ACT exactly matching the company data in QuickBooks. So we give you a couple other options to match on as well. If you go back into Tools, QB Customer Link Wizard, and on that Contact Linking tab, we actually let you use some fields like phone number or email address in QuickBooks to match on. So in this case we could try to match the phone number in QuickBooks to the phone number in ACT, or we could do another run at it and match the email address in QuickBooks to the email address in ACT as well. So all is not lost if, if you don't have matching uh, company names between ACT and QuickBooks. You could also try to match on phone number or email address as well. Thanks for attending this video, and have a great day.